Recently I got a copy of the Ride magazine, June 2020, although it came out in April, uh, which have got some fantastic routes in, which I've now decided to uh, download and import into Basecamp. Now, sometimes importing routes into Go and Basecamp is really easy. Sometimes it's not, particularly if they're downloaded from websites or they've come from a sat nav because they get imported as a track and without very careful handling this can become an absolute nightmare. So this video is going to talk about how we import routes that have come through as a track and convert them into something useful. So here we are on the ride website. I'm just going to go and find, there it is, the magazine. And here we go, 15 best routes. So for today I'm just going to uh, take one that's quite complex uh, the Scottish coast and download that GPX file. Okay, GPX file downloaded. We'll drag and drop that across into the planning list in my Z planning folder. Get rid of that. And here we are on the top of Scotland, nice and conveniently, and we can see um, this light grey outline going around the North Coast 500. Here it is. This is a track, and we know it's a track because it's got these two little boot marks uh, on the left hand side. Now we can see the big problem that we have with tracks. And tracks, in this case, have nearly 42,000 points, um, via points on them, so the, and they're very, very close together. If you converted this into a route now, it would be an absolute nightmare. So we'll just get back out of that. And before we do any other editing, we need to change the mode of our uh, routing in Basecamp. So go up here and uh, choose your activity. Now I would normally have it set to driving, but in this case for some reason I've got it set to motorcycling. Matters not. The one to choose is direct. Click on direct. And what direct does is when a, a, a via point is, cre is created, it will just create a straight line between that via point and the next one. And we need that because we've got to convert these 42,000 via points into something more sensible. So I've set direct and my activity. Uh, I'm just going to turn it red because I like the route to be red. Easier to see. Now I'm going to click create route. Choose a number of points automatically. Whatever you do, do not choose the number of points automatically. That will create 42,000 via points on your route it will be impossible to use uh, and it will just be a nightmare so what we do is obviously as you saw let's untick that <clears throat> try and aim for somewhere around about five six four that, that kind of miles there's, there's, no, there's no real science to it um, as it's 500 miles and uh, dividing by five is fairly easy I'm going to use a hundred so this will create 100 via points on a route as it converts from a track. It takes a few seconds and we can see over on the left hand side we have a, a route. It's got the 100 via points. It's also turned it pink. So we'll go and make that one blue. Close that down. Go and check on our red one. I'm going to delete it now nothing lost. So I've got rid of my um, track and I've got my route. The next thing I'm going to do is just get rid of these um, waypoints. They are of no use to man or beast. Absolutely nothing relies on them in my newly created route and here we have our route. Uh, it, whilst it's doing a pretty good job at uh, following the roads you will be able to see if I just put this onto highest. You will be able to see that it's not actually following the roads. It's just taking that single straight line between each via point. So the way to overcome that now is double click um, into the properties, and here you can see it's called direct. Switch it to driving. Motorcycling will take you down all sorts of crazy little off-road paths. It's Let's put it onto driving. It will recalculate it, 
close that down and now we have a route that is rendered properly across the roads according to those value points may not still may not be perfect so it is worth having a quick look and making sure that it hasn't um, hasn't skipped something or put something in that you weren't expecting okay so now we've got a useful route uh, I'm just going to give it uh, a new name and so we'll call this the it was route 3 wasn't it so we'll call it 03 I'm going to call it alpha I'll tell you why in a minute and uh, north coast 500 and I'm just going to call it day 1 um, so my plan here is to turn this into a two day route um, you can turn it into as many days as you like but in this case I'm just going to turn it into a two day route and I'm going to choose my halfway point which I suspect is going to be somewhere around here so I'm going to split the route in half and if you've seen my previous videos you'll know how to do this very simple up onto the menu bar click divide comes up with a little pair of scissors you can see that on the left hand I've moved it to the left of that via point let's turn the dark color to the right of that via point let's all turn it dark I'm just going to divide it just there it'll ask me whether I want to share the same waypoint yes I do via point yes I do my route is now sp split in two back to the hand we'll go to the the first route the morning the day out and we're going to turn that red so we can see okay and now on this second route which is dark blue and I'm going to change it the name of it B to O three B North Coast five hundred day two. That's it. I have a reasonably usable route, the red route, day one. Is a healthy 214 miles and day two is a nightmare is 287 miles but that's that route imported from a track from online um, converted into a route uh, and made actually quite useful hope that's of some help to you